Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. This is Brian Strauser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in episode 162, I want to talk about using National Preparedness Month here in the United States as a way to build leverage for your business continuity and crisis management programs awareness. If you're not familiar with National Preparedness Month, it is an observance in September of each year here in the United States that raises awareness about the importance of preparing for disasters and emergencies that can happen at any time. National Preparedness Month each year has a theme driven by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and the Federal Emergency Management Agency through their preparedness campaign for the private sector called the Ready Campaign. You can find out more about the Ready Campaign at ready.gov and more about National Preparedness Month at ready.gov slash September. Every year, there is a different theme. The theme for 2022 is called A Lasting Legacy, and their tagline is, The life that you have built is worth protecting. Prepare for disasters to create a lasting legacy for you and your family. Now, I think National Preparedness Month is a great opportunity to take a national campaign and leverage this both to help your employees become more prepared, more resilient with their family and their local community, and then use that messaging towards the end of the month to talk about the connections to your business continuity and crisis management program. A lot of the themes uh, on a weekly basis within National Preparedness Month at the national level revolve around three ideas. And those ideas are have a plan, make a kit, and be informed with trusted information. Have a plan or make a plan is about developing a personal and family emergency plan. It's the basics of what would you do if there was a disaster, an emergency that struck your neighborhood or your house? Where would your family meet? How would you communicate? And do you have the supplies you need to be able to get home or go somewhere and sustain yourselves for up to three days? Three days is the number that emergency management uh, professionals, the emergency management community has said you really need to be able to self-sustain as an individual or as a family before rescue may come. And I think this is you know, more applicable in a large scale disaster like an earthquake or a tornado or a, a hurricane or wildfire, some other kind of natural disaster. But week one is about having a plan or making a plan. Part of that plan should also include your pets because they're, if you have pets, they're part of your family too. The second week's theme is around make a kit or have a kit. And so here we're talking about that personal and family emergency kit or set of kits. So for example, in my family, I have in my vehicle, I drive an SUV, I have a get home bag. It's a backpack. It's filled with everything I would need um, if I had to walk home in an emergency. My vehicle doesn't operate. I'm stranded. Okay, so think about the things I'm going to need. I need water. I need some simple food. I may need the ability to boil water. Um, I may need a weapon to defend myself, et cetera, et cetera. So these are the kind of things and, and ways of communicating and a solar charger for my phone and extra batteries and lights and a knife and all those kind of things. That's what's in my get home bag. I also have at home basically a, a go bag. It's a larger bag that holds about three days of supplies for my family and I. And I would use that if I had to leave and go to one of the places we've designated as a, as a, uh, you know, a place to go away from home in case of an emergency, or if I got to travel to family in another state, this bag has the supplies I need to sustain us as we're able to, to make that journey. And then I may have other supplies at home, like a water supply and extra food stockpiled and things like that, that I think most people do, but we don't always think about, but that's part of having a kit. The third week of National Preparedness Month is about staying informed or being informed with trusted information. It's where do you go to get the information in a disaster? How do you find out about the disaster? How do you get that alert? And then how in the middle of the emergency or disaster, how do you make sure that you're getting trusted information? 
And so this chapter is about weather radios or this chapter this week is about weather radios. It's about apps on your phone or an iPad. It's about websites you can go to. It's about your local emergency service that your police or local city or county or, or state may manage. And there's other good trusted information from organizations like the American Red Cross that operate disaster alerting apps and share information that's important. And then I always think about the last week of National Preparedness Month as now I'm going to take these themes and I'm going to apply them to my business. So after three weeks of communicating these kind of national themes to help my employees become more prepared and more resilient at home with themselves and their family, that last week I turn it back inward to the company and I look at what's the connection to my organization and how do I tie this to increasing awareness of our business continuity and crisis management and other capabilities. You may talk about crisis communications and you may talk about, um, um, you know, your security team or ways you keep people safe or that kind of thing, or even information security. Now you can tie a lot of different themes into national preparedness month, but we have always found it to be a great way to leverage something that's happening around us in the community. And all of these kind of community activities and themes and communication that are happening at the federal, state, county, and local level throughout the United States and leverage that to increase awareness of your business continuity and crisis management program. We have some awareness products related to National Preparedness Month, including articles that are ready to go with some light editing and graphics to help you support this within your company and get a jump start on using it for National Preparedness Month. You can learn more about those products at brightpath.com slash awareness. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. I'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well.